at home with Michigan's ban on abortions in legal limbo. The fight over abortion is now shifting to a push to enshrine it in Michigan's constitution. That push is coming from a petition still gathering signatures to put it to a vote in November. Our Grant Herms has a breakdown of what we could be voting on and what both sides are saying. If this gets on the ballot in November, it'd be asking voters to make Michigan join nine other states that already have abortion as parts of their constitution. It would also supersede Michigan's 1931 abortion ban that's still on the books, even if it's on hold. As Michiganders wait to learn the legal fate of the state's 1931 abortion ban, the focus now shifting to what could be on the ballot in November, making abortion a part of the state's constitution. The petition currently being circulated by the group Reproductive Freedom for All Michigan says reproductive care like childbirth, contraception and abortion shall not be denied, burdened nor infringed upon, but also says the state can regulate abortion, quote, after fetal viability, provided that in no circumstance shall the state prohibit an abortion that in the professional judgment of an attending healthcare professional is medically indicated to protect the life or physical or mental health of the pregnant individual. It would also ban punishing doctors or women who seek out pregnancy and abortion services. In the hours after the Supreme Court's decision, supporters calling for thousands to sign their names. This November, we have the right to look today's injustice in the face and tell all of our political and judicial leaders that we refuse to go backwards. But opponents say the measure would allow unlimited access to abortion, alleging it would allow any procedures up to birth, despite the fetal viability provision. I want every woman to hear me when I say that we stand with them. As they face unplanned pregnancies, I want them to know that there are love, there's love for them. The fight over abortion now heading to the ballot box after a landmark decision. The petition needs 425,000 signatures and they expect there will be challenges to those signatures. So a tall order there. The deadline is July 11th. Grant Herms, Local 4.